Good morning. It's a morning or a day we've been anticipating for quite some time. And the weather and the time where it's finally going to allow it, we're going to get out and get some tile in. We've got some last minute stuff to get rounded up. And then here in a little bit, we will be out in the field uh, putting tile on the ground. Well, we're finally doing it, putting the first tile in the ground this spring. A little tough getting through the grass back there. There's probably still some frost in the grass, but I made it through and we are moving. Slowly but surely, but we're moving. All right, you just saw a little clip of getting some tile on the ground. So that was eight inch, which will be our main, and then we'll run four inches off that. So Luke's going to grab the backhoe and he'll come up here and we will dig up here in the neighbor and hook on to his existing line that we know is there. So we'll make that connection and then we'll keep moving, putting more in. So we made it up to the neighbor's tile and found it, made our connection in the process of making the connection onto his and then we'll have this part taken care of. As expected, there was a ton of water once we started digging. started in a new hole. Luke is stringing out the tile for me and then when he runs out here shortly he's going to go get another roll. We're just a two-man crew today so I have to wait when he goes and gets more tile but I'll find something to keep me busy and then we'll keep moving. yesterday went pretty well but uh, there's always a, a struggle here and there so some things have slowed us up but overall went good uh, we've already got oh about a roll and a half of four inch in as you see over here going pretty well it's really windy out though so we have to be careful on the stringer cart up ahead here um, on the new rolls it likes to blow over top and then you kind of have a mess so I've been up on top of the stringer cart twice already, basically just holding the tile down until we get some strung off, but it's going well. Other than the wind, it's warm out, so it's not too bad. We got Bruce, we got Luke, and we got Dad, so we got a full crew today. I'll just kind of talk about what I'm doing here as far as what the monitor setup is. Um, it's really pretty simple. It just kind of does it all for me as long as the run's going to be okay. So, I'm currently getting on my line that I'm going to run. And I'll set my auto steer when I get close. Then I come over to my monitor. I hit survey because I need to see what the ground is doing. I start surveying and then I just drive the path. And the uh, GPS, RTK GPS will figure out what kind of uh, slope we have and what the plow needs to do as we're going. So we got our tripod on the ground right there which is talking to the globe on our plow and that's what's uh, giving it its elevation and all of its info. So we'll drive it back, we'll get turned around, see that everything's okay and then we'll put tile back in the ground going back up the hill. It's really pretty simple. You need to have your water flowing down the hill. That's all there is to it. So I'm backed up to the hole, or just above it. Uh, then Luke will feed tile in as I get into the hole. 
and he will make the connection that he dug already um, to hook on to the main, the bigger lines we put in yesterday. Stuff set up. I got my auto steer set. My John Deere auto steer that doesn't want to drive straight. Got our map parameters set and it's doing its thing. The plow is moving up and down depending on what it uh, needs for grade to keep flow. We got tired of fighting the wind and we were at a pretty good stopping point for the day. So we're heading home, there's chances of pretty good storms the next couple days. So we just go well get some stuff parked in the shed. I think we're going to put the uh, tile feeder that I was talking about on the plow here. And the next time we're out we'll be able to test that out and see how that works. We are back. Here's an update. It is uh, Saturday before Easter now. We've got uh, Josie, myself, and Dad out here. We got our tile feeder put on the other day. We're using it for the first time. I'm pretty happy with it. No complaints yet. Still getting stuff figured out, but it's working well. Josie's in the stringer card up there. Dad's back down in the hole helping uh, get the hole started. Things have been going really well, except for on the last hole. There was a lot of water down there up to my boots and actually a little bit more or taller than my boots. Um, I know that because my socks are now wet, but that's just part of it. Uh, and we got the hole, or got a, got a hole put in the main so that hole will drain by the time we get over to it here shortly. But overall, things are going well. And another, well, it's cold out, but uh, another sunny day at least. We'll get something done here before Easter. Josie's up there cutting strings off of the next spool. They they string them every so often or tie them up with string every so often so that they, the rolls stay together a little better. So she has to stop every once in a while and cut those strings and before she can keep going. Easter ham leftovers while tiling. If you don't have a Hot Logic food warmer and you're a farmer, you're missing out. Plugs into this 12 volt outlet. Get yourself some tins or some Tupperware, and you'll be eating Easter dinner in the tractor. So, we're about to cross one of our mains that we put in, and the reason we're doing this is down here um, the slope it gets different, and so, what we're going to do is plow right over the top of it. Josie doesn't pull the tile out of my stringer. All right, we're good. We're gonna plow right over the top of it. I know that I'm uh, higher than what the main is, so we won't hit it. And then uh, we'll come back in and we'll dig at that spot. And we will actually put a T in after we plowed it in. It's, it's, we're plowing right over the top and then we'll come back in. And it makes stringing the tile so much faster and you don't have to dig as many holes because we're digging one hole for two connections instead of two holes. So we're just going over top of it right now. And I'm not doing it yet because I still have good enough grade, but uh, down the hill a little bit further, we will we'll stop, reset our monitor, and then keep going. Josie's so good. Josie's so good. Jo 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 Josie's so good. I never have to stop. She just gets out of my way.
got uh, the one field done that we wanted to. I don't know if you can see it over there. Maybe I'll get a little better view of it. And now we're just trying to use up what we've got left sitting on the ground or in rolls so that uh, it's in the ground instead of sitting all summer outside. So this spring we probably put in about 30,000 feet, which seems like a lot, and it is, and I'm really happy about that. But uh, like I said, really happy about that, but to some guys that's really not all that much. That's, that's a few days worth, but um, lots of days it's just a couple of us. Some days we've got more people and you get more done, but um, the tile feeder is working really good, happy with it, no regrets of uh, purchasing that. And uh, just getting more and more feet in the ground to improve the farms. So I think that will be it for this video um, on a little bit of how we tile or what we do or what goes into tiling.